What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 9 video. So the other week I was talking about how cool Mandibuzz is and why I think it's kind of a slept on Pokemon and why I think it's like a very slept on Pokemon actually. Someone said like, yeah, you could just use Umbreon instead and I was like, yeah, but Umbreon doesn't come with built-in safety goggles and Tailwind, like that's kind of a big deal. Anyways, today we're going to be trying out a team I built around it. It's a very standard Metagross looking team, but uh, with Mandibuzz put on there next to a Tapu Fini, I think it can put in a lot of work. Uh, the main thing about the Mandibuzz is um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to not include Taunt on it. I felt like Taunt was way too important just to not have, but I also didn't want to let go of Tailwind and Roost. So unfortunately, <laughs> uh, I'm just running Snarl. Like Snarl's really nice, right? But Foul Play, I don't know. I feel like Foul Play is just too good to pass up sometimes. Bit of a tough decision, but Snarl ended up just being the play, I think. But yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and play in time, do me a favor, leave a like, and then subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day, what flying-type Pokemon do you think has potential in this format? I know that there are a lot of flying-type Pokemon that are really good right now, like Landorus, Thunderous, I think Mandibuzz is good, to be honest. Um... Galarian Zapdos is pretty okay. Like, anything with Max Airstream is good, but let me know what flying type you think is slept on right now. We have a very defensive Calm Mind Tapu Fini with Moonblast, Muddy Water, Calm Mind Protect, Leftovers. We have a Assault Vest Landorus, Earthquake Fly, Rock Slide U-Turn, Standard Weakness Policy Metagross. We have a Dusclops with Eviolite, of course, Frisk, Nightshade, Bulldoze, Trick Room, Will-O-Wisp. And we have a Shookaberry Entei to activate the Metagross in sort of a fast mode. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, if you guys want to try out this team, it'll be in my Discord server, which is linked down below. That's where I put all my teams. Yes, I'm just trying to get more people on the Discord, but, you know. Also, I did take some time and ladder up this account a little bit more, so it's a bit higher than it was before. And wow, I really wish I had foul play right now. <laughs> Look at this. Like, we're facing a Metagross and a Landers. I really wish I had foul play right now. Uh, regardless, I still like the Mandibuzz Finny lead. Yeah, I still like Mandibuzz Finny. I think here I can go ahead and bring Lando. Lando's probably going to be my Dynamax target. Might even be Finny, actually. Um, and I think my last Mon... Uh, Entei doesn't seem too bad. Being able to burn the Lando and possibly get a burn off on the, um, on the Moltres could be nice for just some chip residual damage. All right. As they, they lead off Grimmsnarl and Moltres, which I'm perfectly fine with. Let me go ahead and get a Snarl off. And let me think. I can Snarl and I can Calm Mind here. Yeah, there's the light screen. I don't really care. They can go ahead and go for like Spirit Breaks on me. I'm going to wall that thing like forever. Go for another Snarl here. That I can't speak Snarl here. Go for another Calm Mind. I'm willing to get greedy when there's a Mandibuzz next to me. Mandibuzz tends to go crazy. As they go for their Calm Mind. You're just going to be walling me. You're just going to be walling me, and I'm not going to care. Because I'm going to KO everything around this thing. As they decide to Spirit Break the Mandibuzz, that's a bit disrespectful, sir. That's a bit disrespectful. Let me go ahead and roost off that damage. And I'm willing to go for a Moonblast here. Yeah. I mean, I could Snarl again. But I don't want them to double into my Mandibuzz. So I'll just roost. And Grim Snarl, probably not within range of this Moonblast, but it is going to be doing a decent amount, and it's just going to drop to the Snarl next turn, I'm pretty certain. So they Spirit Break again. I can Snarl this turn and Calm Mind once more. As long as I connect my Snarl on the Grim Snarl, I'm good. The only thing is their Tapu Fini is faster than mine, which could be an issue, but I would expect them just to Calm Mind one more time. As they end up going for the, the Moonblast, which is fine. So I'm going to Snarl them, and wow, they actually lived it with their Grim Snarl. I guess I just got a little bit too hopeful there. Let me Roost up. I'll go ahead and go for the KO here. I could even Muddy Water if I wanted to, but that's a little risky. I'll try to Roost. And I'll Muddy Water. I'll get, I'll get greedy here. I'll get greedy. Yeah, I connect on both. That's going to KO. Accuracy drop? Nah, not quite. And now my Finny's kind of in a pretty commanding position. I can get in my Lando here. Yeah. 
uh, at 2.5 times. I feel like they're going to Dynamax their Moltres, to be honest. And I'm faster than both of these guys, so I'll go ahead and I'll U-turn here on the Tapu Fini. Do I actually want to do that? I'm probably going to end up Dynamaxing my, my Lando. Um, just because it's going to be easier to get rid of the Tapu Fini with that. I'll Calm Mind up again. Yeah, they're hoping to live. Likely a Muddy Water coming out. As they Calm Mind up again. Uh, I don't outspeed the Moltres, but I can get good damage here. I'm going to go ahead and go for a... Extreme Speed, I believe, is my play. Just in the Tapu Fini. I could Protect. I'll Protect here, and I'll Calm Mind up again. As we are playing the Tapu Fini War now. But I am outpacing them by quite a bit. Let me go ahead and get some extreme speed damage off on this Tapu Fini. And they're only at 1.5 special attack. So if I Moonblast here, I can get a special attack drop. And that'll make the endgame a bit easier with AV Lando. So that's Since that's going to be my Dynamax target. Hey, we got that. We get that. Let me get into Lando. And now I believe we always just go for the... I could Quake and Moonblast. But I think I want the Airstream, actually. I think that's my play. Because Lando should take this hit pretty easily as long as they're not running Ice Beam. And I want a speed boost to face Raichu and Landorus. Yeah, there's that. I don't really care too much, as long as I get my speed boost. A Muddy Water does a critical hit, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying, but now I should be outspeeding a Tapu Fini. And I can always just double into it here. I'll go ahead and Airstream, and then I can pretty much Muddy Water Sweep. Yeah, that's fine. I'm faster than everything now. Um, I should be able to just to Airstream Muddy Water, and I'm likely just going to one-shot this Lando. As long as I connect. There we go. Connect, please. Okay, yeah. Okay, smart guy. <laughs> okay, Landorus. Uh, still not too scared, but Lando is still my name, my number one priority. I don't want to activate a uh, weakness policy, so I'll go ahead and I'll click fly here on the Moltres. Since too muddy water should do it. And they have to crit through me to KO. There we go. As they uh, miss their fiery wrath on the Lando because I'm flying. They get a crit on my Finny and it doesn't do much, so yeah, that's going to be a good game. Nice. Yeah, I actually really like the... <laughs> I like being able just to stall things out with this uh, Mandibuzz set. As this looks like a pretty good Mandibuzz game. It really does. Granted, it's... Uh, granted, we don't have to deal with the Tapu Koko much. Honestly, though, no. Mandibuzz Finny kind of goes in here. It scares off a lot of what they want to go for. I think in the back here, uh, it's going to be my best interest to... I think I definitely want to bring Lando again. Do I want to bring Metagross to this game? Probably not. They have a lot of answers to Metagross. I'll just go Entei one more time. As they go Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Dragapult. So here I want a Tailwind for sure and go ahead and Calm Mind. If they go for a Max Phantasm, I can live it. And then I outspeed next turn with both my Pokemon. I guess my main concern would be like Max Phantasm into... Oh, the Airstream. All right. That's not going to do too much to Mandibuzz. Oh, Wow. That actually did KO. What a disappointment that was. <laughs> I should be able to one-shot this Lando. The only thing is I can't protect my Finny. I might be getting nanate on this game. I should be able to one-shot this Lando with a Moonblast now, right? I'm going to extreme speed to break that Sash. I'm going to Starfall. A Phantasm to drop my defense. Not the end of the world, not the end of the world. They're going to KO my Entei for sure. But I believe I one-shot this Dragapult as long as it's not like bulky. 
yeah. Get in the Lando. There's the Volcarona. Um, not too scared of Volcarona. Urshfu could be kind of annoying here, but with leftovers, I should be fine. I'll go ahead and I'll go for my... Do I KO this Urshifu right now? I think I do. The only thing is if there's like anything named Tapu Koko in the back, I lose. I'm going to go ahead and Starfall here. They should always just go for the KO on my Lando, yeah. As they go for a Struggle Bug. Cool tech, cool tech. There's Tapu Koko. Um, probably lose if I don't crit this. Or maybe if they're just physical, I lose outright. Oh yeah, I probably lose. <laughs> I'm going to say I lose here. Uh, crit Muddy Water. They're Thunderbolt. I actually survived this turn, funny enough. Struggle Bug. Can I crit, please? <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yo, it worked. It worked. They're going to be big mad if they lose this game. How do you KO a Tapu Fini in the rain? I definitely want to, you know, press Protect one turn to get some leftovers recovery. But now I just keep clicking Muddy Water and hope you don't have damage output. That'll beat me. Muddy Water... Oh, I crit again, didn't I? Oh my god, no! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not even gonna say good game. That was not a good- I got lucky. I got lucky right there. <laughs> Just say, I'm so sorry and leave. You know, like when you, uh... <laughs> Like when you spill something at Walmart and someone has to clean it up, you just go, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, hey, it's I Am Love. Shout out to her. Great Smash player. Great Pokemon player. Yo. I'm recording. All right. So, uh, I always knew she was a big Buzzwell fan. I think here, I have to be really careful. Hmm... I actually really, really like the Entei lead. Just because the burn is going to be kind of kind of schmasty. And my Trick Room doesn't look too bad. So I think I go Entei, Dusclops, Metagross. And my last Mon. For my last Mon, hmm. I could go Tapu Fini. I could. And I think I do, actually. All right, so they shouldn't be able to stop my my trick room here, at least not without losing out on their their uh, thunderous big time. So I'm gonna go for the trick room, get some good damage there, and a burn, obviously. Ooh, they do have a taunt. They do indeed have the taunt. I can get my Finny in here, and I'll just go for damage on the pre marina. Taunt Heatran is always good tech. There's the Thundee. You go for the Hyper Voice. It's good damage. It's good damage. But uh, it's going to be hard to deal with Metagross once this pre marina is gone, which I believe after burn... How much did I do? I did 26%. No, I didn't. How much did I do? Nightshade did 30%. And I believe the burn goes before like leftovers. No, burn goes after leftovers, so it wouldn't KO this turn unless I doubled into it. However, I could protect this turn and Nightshade here because they're going to Dynamax. They airstream my clops, but I should take whatever they go for. Yep, just barely. And I do KO, which is huge. There's the Buzzwool. Uh, Buzzwool could try to go for like just a... Like a max... What's it called? A poison jab into my Finny. So I think my play here is to go Metagross. And actually attempt to burn this Thundee. <sighs> That's the thing though. That's the thing, though. They could actually just target the... They could actually just target the Dusclops. I think... I think... Do I think? I don't think. Ooh, this is tough, because they could... I think they always just attack the... The Dusclops with their Buzzwool. I'm gonna fan... Not Phantasm. I'm gonna move Starfall and get in the Metagross. Yeah, okay. 
Glad I made that call. They're life orbs, so this will KO. There's the Heatran. Uh, I... Rip little buddy. Rip. Okay, so here they should just go for a fire move into the Entei. Or even a ground move to catch the... Catch the... Uh, or was it? They should always go for a fire move into the Metagross or even a ground move to catch the Entei, but I don't know how much I care about that. I think my play here is going to be to max guard every time. And I'm somewhat tempted just to give them... <laughs> just to give them the... Uh, the Entei. Or the Metagross, even. I think I'll just sack Dusclops here. I don't need it. Trick Room doesn't seem overly important. Say Max Knuckle, that's fine. Cool. I should be able to Geyser this Heatran and survive whatever they go for. Or... Yeah, that's my play. A Geyser. And I can attempt a Trick Room. Trick Room is actually pretty beneficial to me here. I survive. Let's see if they double up. Burning Jealousy. Ooh, okay. That's cool tech. I should KO here, though. It doesn't KO. It doesn't KO. But Entei does. Entei should come in here and KO. Um, I protect. Does Extreme Speed do it? Probably not. Probably not. But two will. There's Shookaberry, yeah. So two Extreme Speeds will do it. That's fine. Um, they're just going to fly this turn. All muddy water in case they miss. Extreme speed again. Since, like I said, two will do it. Shookaberry! Let's go! <laughs> hey, GG. Well played. Love the buzz wool. Alright. So yeah, now I just extreme speed and boom blast. And that always wins me the game. Nice. So I'm glad we got to see some buzzwall action. You know, me and Love always uh, had like that that shared connection over the buzzwall. I, well, like back when I was using buzzwall, so was she. So we would like theory crap buzzwall in DMs. All right. So shout out to shout out to her. She's gonna be uh, linked in the description down below because I believe she streams as well. Let me see here. Uh, I could stop a Trick Room with the Mandy. Yeah, I'm going to go Mandy Finney. Ooh, actually, Mandy Entei looking kind of clean. And I can bring the Finny in the back for sure. That's going to be huge. And I think my last mod's got to be meta. Yeah, Mandy Entei. Cleanest lead. Go for the Taunt here. I can attempt a Sacred Fire. If they're Mental Herb, I'm not going to get it off, but it's whatever. Thanks for the boost. This should do a decent amount of damage. As they quake me, but I got the shook. Oh, the crit. Oh, no. Now I am sad. But I can get in the metagross. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad, bad. That crit kind of mattered. It's revenge for me getting lucky earlier. Let me go for a snarl on the steel spike. That's fine. That's fine. Kind of wish I had foul play. Kind of wish I had foul play right now. Ooh, what if I do this? No, I can't side snarl. That doesn't work. I'm stupid. Stupid! I could actually protect this turn, max guard, and guarantee I get the KO next turn. Because I would assume they would just quake the Metagross. There's no way they go for the Mandibuzz, right? They could actually go for the Mandibuzz. I missed that. Unfortunately. Steel Spike. Okay. Good play. Good play. Uh, but they should be in range now. I'm going to go ahead and Calm Mind up. Steel Spike. They can protect, but then they just get in range next turn. Yeah, that turn 1 crit kind of mattered. Because I had a lot of options if I kept my meta. Or if I kept my ante. There's the Cress. Uh, I'm still going to take this Glacier next turn. There's no way they live this. Yeah, especially if I double up. I'm going to go for a Muddy Water and an Iron Head. What if their ally switch Cress? What if? 
I can only assume... Yep. Can you miss? Heavy slam. I live that. And you go down next turn. Actually, check this out. I'm going to prevent that trick room. I'm going to prevent that trick room. How much did the Muddy Water do? 24%? They have to trick room this turn if they want to win. They didn't trick room this turn. They didn't want to win. They got Icy Wind. What? Man. Freaking ally switch. Because I knew it was a possibility. And I knew that if they had it, they had to click it there. But in best of one, you just can't. You just can't do that. You know, you can't make that prediction. GG. Man, that sucked. It's whatever. We still got a couple of good games this video. Okay. This looks like a huge game. Oh, Angel Lost Gaming. They're also a Twitch streamer. Yo, I follow you on Twitch. Yeah, I'll be sure to give them a shout out too. Angel Lost Gaming. All right. A lot of friends today. A lot of friends today. So, let's see. Uh, I should be able to lead off Mandibuzz pretty handily here. Like, it, it's not ever a bad lead. And I can go Tapu Fini for that special defense boost. Um, Lando in the back is definitely a good play. And I think I want to bring my Entei again. But Metagross also isn't terrible. Uh, I'm somewhat leaning towards Metagross, to be honest. Somewhat, but not entirely. Not entirely. Mm. What do I struggle with here? So, Mandibuzz sort of covers any special attacker's taunt on the uh, Porygon. So, they're sort of dealt with. Lando helps me out with just, you know, sweeping Dynamax. Uh, I'm probably going to Dynamax it. Finny is just good overall. I think my main issue gets covered by Entei. Nah, we'll go, we'll go Metagross. We'll go Metagross. Just because the Dynamax is so good. Okay. Here I'm going to actually Tailwind up and Calm Mind. I want to be faster than them, for sure. I don't think Lando Dynamax is here. Or actually, yeah, it's whatever it Dynamax is. I actually was somewhat tempted just to bring in my own Lando. So they Rockfall. Wow, and they crit me. I feel like that didn't KO. Just considering Mandibuzz's bulk, I feel like that wouldn't KO otherwise. Um, I'm likely not faster than them. I'm likely not faster than them, but I did manage to get a free attack there. I'm going to go ahead and get in my Metagross this turn. And... kind of want to max guard. How do I adjust here? Because they're going to Quake my Finny. Or set up a Light Screen. Oh, it is Life Orb. Maybe that did KO. Probably just going to Quake my Finny. I think I just go for the damage. They're life orbs, so they don't take it that well. Yep. Good damage, good damage. Here I'm going to get back in my Lando and just Geyser once more. Because I'm really cutting the damage they're doing there. So they go for more boosts. There's their Tapu Fini. Um, I think here, I want to avoid a Muddy Water. Very much, I very much would like to avoid a Muddy Water. So a Starfall into a Fly, I believe, is my play. Ooh, they are faster than me. They are faster than me. That could be annoying. They do get the Spirit Break off. I think here I want to Calm Mind again, but I also just kind of want the damage. I think I just go for the damage. Scald me. KOs through my Assault Vest, obviously. In the rain. Ooh, I think I might lose here. Kind of depends on how much this Finny's doing with a Muddy Water. Because I should be able to KO with Iron Head Moonblast. And I could get Scald Burned as well. They get in the Rotom Heat. Hmm. Overheat's kind of scary. Suppose here I just protect Muddy Water. <clears throat> and just kind of hope for the best. Kind of just hope that I, like, <laughs> get an accuracy drop. That's kind of my end game here. Oh, 
They T-bolt. Hey, nice double. Well played. GG. Let's get one more. I'll do one more battle. Alright, cool. Hopefully we can show off some uh, Mandibuzz in this game. Let me think. So, Mandibuzz does kind of go in here. Not as hard as it would in other games. But if they end up going with Spectre, it's like really, really good. And if I were them, I would go Spectre. There's a Metagross on this team. I'll lead off as I usually do. Uh, but this time I'm somewhat tempted to go with a Trick Room mode in the back. Trick Room mode doesn't seem awful. Uh, I think I go Lando again though. Even though there's... um, No, I don't go Lando. Mandibus, Finny, Entei. Entei is like really good in this matchup. Just for burning that thing. And I think my last Mon, I could go Lando, but I could also go Metagross. Metagross has quite a few things on the team it doesn't want to deal with, so I'll go Lando. But I have to be really careful with that, uh, that Thundee. I actually really hope they just kind of lead off Spectre here. <laughs> Probably a Thunderous lead, though. Ooh, no, I, I actually, I really like that lead. More likely than not, they're just going to go ahead and fake out my Mandibuzz. I can try to Tailwind up here, but I should be able to Calm Mind to get a Special Defense boost. I feel like they're just going to Snarl. But getting that Special Defense boost is really nice. Is they just Dynamax? Interesting. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. I don't necessarily agree with that play, though. I can protect here in Tailwind, and then next turn I'll be able to... Um, next turn I'll be able to snarl this thing and outspeed it. I'm also tempted to max guard. I think I max guard just to get the most out of it. Yeah, because then I don't get another defense drop on my Mandibuzz. Which, with that Flare Blitz, that would have mattered. Okay, here I'm going to Snarl, and I actually want to get rid of this Incineroar more than anything. Because I should be able to take all these hits with the Spectre. So all guys are you. And nothing switches into this on their team. They have no resists. Urshifu Rabbit Strike? I thought that'd be a Dark Urshifu. Still doesn't take it very well, so we're good. Connect. Ah, I missed the Snarl on the Urshifu. Not that it matters. Go for a Phantasm. Miss out in the KO, obviously. Um, I might be in range of Aqua Jet, which is kind of scary. <laughs> I'm kind of scared I'm in range of Aqua Jet. I'm going to Snarl here and I'm going to go for a Starfall. I really hope I'm not in Aqua Jet range. Because I don't have much to deal with this Urshifu. Oh, uh, it's going to be close. Okay, they just Aqua Jet the Mana Buzz. That's fine. I, c I live that hit. Um, I have a turn of... Still have a turn of Tailwind. I can get in the Entei here. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this turn very, very smartly. I'm going to Bulldoze. I'm going to Bulldoze here. And get in the Lando. Because that'll slow down the Spectre to the point where Lando's faster. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, a Trick Room could be kind of problematic. But I suppose my play here, since they can't protect the Incineroar, is just to, be, uh, just to protect an Earthquake for damage. The Ice Beam me, obviously I don't live. But I can get in my Finny here. And I believe my play is going to be to... If I Bulldoze, I outspeed the Spectre, I believe. I should. I should outspeed it. I hope. Bulldoze protect. Hopefully no trick room comes out. Yep. Cool. Now I outspeed the Spectre and this becomes a lot easier. Sacred Fire will KO. And I can just go for a Moonblast. Good damage, good damage. They try attack my Finny. Ooh, I really hope I win this. <laughs> I 
I really hope this does enough. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding. We just barely missed it. It's whatever. GG. You know, you too. We took a couple of L's today. We took a couple of L's. Some of them were luck based, some of them weren't. But I still think we showed off Mandibuzz fine enough, you know, to say it's a Mandibuzz video. Am I disappointed with the outcome? Yes. But did I show Mandibuzz's usefulness? I think I did. I think I did. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.